Hello and welcome back to our Pokemon Infinite Fusion Randomizer playthrough. This is part 11. We are here after cutting down a whole bunch of trees for who knows what reason. But this took a, a good amount of time to cut all these trees down. Uh, just before I went and started cutting trees down though, I did quickly get everyone up uh, basically one level. That's because the XP share is on Montrus, meaning Montrus got a good amount of XP and hopefully it's going to be able to be used a little bit. So we have Flame Wheel, we have Self Destruct, we have Bug Bite, and we have Mark Punch. Honestly, it's a whole assortment of moves. Whether this will end up being good, I have no idea. But more importantly than that, Dunkor. Dunkor has learned acrobatics, meaning the Power Bracer must leave Dunkor. Uh, we must be free of all items so that Dunkor can absolutely destroy everything that it comes up against. That's the plan. Uh, we'll see how that goes. For now, though, let's go see what our reward is for cutting down all of those trees. It better be good. Did it, thank you so much. Here's for all your hard work. Yes, yes I did. I did expect a bit more, old man. Fine then, how about this? Shears! Shears allow you to cut trees without using a Pokemon. That, however, is worth it. Okay. <laughs> you may have tricked me with the lemonade for a second there. Shears are good. It's not much use for an old man like me, but I'm sure that a young lad like you will find it useful. I will! If you had shears, why didn't you cut the garden yourself? I mean, okay. Alright, whatever. You know what? Unimportant. That does mean, though, that we can change our moves around on Dunkor a little bit, if we so desire. For example, rather than having cut on Dunkor, we could have Rock Tomb or something equivalent. We could. We could. Okay, I wasn't 100% sure if we could land Rock Tomb. But you know what? I think I would much rather have Rock Tomb, base 50 Rock type move, than a secondary normal type move. Unless, of course, it was a good move like Return. If it was Return, I'd say it would be worth it. But, it's not. Uh, there is also an item down here, which we can come and grab now. We get ourselves... Is that our second burn drive? <laughs> no way. No way. No. No. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why? I'm never gonna be- listen, a first burn drive was pushing it. There's a very, very low chance of me ever using a single burn drive, but two? Two? Do you really think I'm gonna use two? Because I don't. I don't think I'm gonna use two. Well, we'll see, I guess. I can't wait for my team of full Genesect. That's gonna be an amazing team, honestly. I'm ready. I'm ready for the full team of Genesect. For now, though, we're gonna go ahead and head into Pewter City, as we do have a fossil that we should be able to restore. Meaning we're probably going to need to put a Pokemon away. Um, so we'll go ahead and do that. And we'll see if the, the fossil comes back randomized. There's a chance it will. This box is so unorganized. It, it hurts me a little bit to look at it, honestly. Um, Flark Queen, you can just move to the side very temporarily. While we go ahead and see if we get ourselves a random fusion or not. So we do actually already have a Kabuto... Uh, fusion, I suppose. So we'll see. You're looking for some bricks? Sure, I've got them, but I'm not handing them to you unless you beat me in a Pokemon battle. What are you saying? Oh, we needed this for a quest, didn't we? Okay, wow, I forgot about this. Wow, I completely forgot about the dude that needed bricks. Wow. Uh, go round. Beautiful. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. All the Badoo fusions are beautiful. We can hit it with an acrobatics. We'll see how much it actually does. This is a good gauge. A lot. A lot. That's what it does. Because it's it's an acrobatics from Dunkle. Hound Sire. If we hit this with a water type move, it is gonna absolutely disappear, right? Right? The Sire part means Quag Sire. Beautiful. It's looking like he's trying to give me a hug. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. But we're gonna slap you with a bubble beam and, and completely destroy you, I'm sorry. Bubbles are scary, okay? Bubbles are very scary. I understand completely gone. Give me my bricks. You're good. Here are the bricks you asked for. I don't remember who needed bricks, but <clears throat> what were those bricks for anyway? You know, I don't actually remember what the bricks were for, but I know we needed them. I also don't remember where the scientist is. I know he's in Pewter City. It's not in the museum, right? Right? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe it is. I honestly don't remember. It's been a while. <laughs> um, well, we've been everywhere else, so I guess it is in the museum? 
How do I not remember any of this, huh? Oh, is it this part? Ah, I remember that. We're not a museum, we also do lots of research on Pokemon fossils. We have a machine that can revive prehistoric Pokemon from fossils. Do you have a fossil for us? Yes. First of all, Lord Helix. Come back around 1700, it should be ready by then. It's now 1.46pm, so we actually need to go to the hotel and sleep? Okay, okay, we can do that, we don't actually have to worry. I do find it weird that this game has its in-game clock, that is not the hotel. We want to go... down here. And double check with everyone that the bricks weren't necessary in this hotel while we're here, I suppose. Because... someone needed bricks. It wasn't the chef. You want to see bugs. Can you see Montreal? No, okay. <laughs> so much finding revive. Okay, I think we've done all of the quests we can do there. I, I still need to show that needle bug type. Um, who knows when we'll do that. Alright. Uh, we can sleep for 12 hours and that'll be fine. 2.16 AM. That should be absolutely fine. Obviously, if this doesn't come back randomized, I'll probably ignore the little leap. Um, in fact, no, we'll, we'll take the Lilith. We can still fuse it. I'll be sad, but we can still fuse these into other things, so that's still fine. We finished reviving the fossil. It was an Omanyte like I thought. Is it, though, or are you tricking me? Is it actually an Omanyte? It is actually an Omanyte. That's sad. That's sad. I was hoping it would come back as some just absolutely deformed custom sprite mess, but it does seem like with eggs and fossils, they will be what you expect them to be. Sad times. Come back around six. Uh, okay. Okay. We'll go ahead and do it just because the leap can be some beautiful, beautiful fusions, I imagine. Cray Daily too. I imagine they can be great. Obviously, there is always the Fusion Generator website we could go on and actually test and see if any of them look really stupid. But that doesn't give us customers price, you know. I think we can sleep for six hours and be fine. I don't know why I don't just like 24 hours and, and call it done, honestly, then I don't have to worry, but with this, we'll go ahead, grab ourselves our little lily, and where do we go from there? <laughs> That's actually a good question. Where do we need to go next? I suppose there are a couple of places we could backtrack to. That'd be, that'd be boring. We don't want to backtrack just yet. We have places to go. For example, I think we'll need to head right of Cerulean, won't we? Oh no, is it rock tunnel time? Oh no. Wait. Wait, no. I don't enjoy rock tunnel. Oh no. I have teleport! Wait. Wait. Is this my first time to use teleport? It's just fly. It's actually just fly. That's so good. That's so, so good. Look at that. We're here. Boom. Just like that. Was the person that needed bricks in Cerulean? <laughs> Might be. Or was the person that needed bricks the person that wanted their house built? I know who it is. I know who it is. We're going to take a very, very quick detour to Vermilion City. It's come back to me. There was the dude with the Machop or Machoke building his house in Vermilion. How did I forget that dude? I totally forgot him. It wasn't even that long ago. I just forgot him because this dude is never important. Ever. You. You can get bricks in Pewter City and the wooden planks in Viridian City. Oh, I don't have the wooden planks. It's a good thing we have teleport right now. It is a very good thing. We'll go to Viridian, I suppose. We'll do the quest as we start it, and that will stop me forgetting about it entirely, I suppose. And we're looking for a construction look at you. Looking for some wooden planks, I've got them, but you need to be in battle. Sure. We'll go ahead and do the battle. It's not a problem. Work with Dave. With his dolly. See, this is what I was talking about can happen with the leap. That's beautiful. That's truly beautiful. Wow. I am blessed to be able to see this, aren't I? I really am. I'm pretty sure this is rock type. I'm pretty sure this is normal rock type. And sadly, we don't have rock smash on this Pokemon anymore. 
We still have Rock Smash, we'd be in a great situation. Oh no, I take it back, it's Pop Fly. Okay. Or Pop Bug. Either or. Not actually sure which. Wait, no, not Bug. Definitely not Bug. This is a grass type. Brain, shut up. <laughs> it's a flying type. <laughs> it's definitely not a bug type, ignore that. Uh, skip color. This, however, this is a bug type. There we go. Uh, this is probably a grass bug type. Meaning, I should be going for acrobatics. What am I doing? What? I just wanted to slap Rock Tomb on things, I guess. This should one shot, by far, which is four times super effective. Stab. Boosted. A lot of things. It's a lot of things. You're way better than I expected. They gave a lot of money, actually, considering. You're good, here are the wooden planks you asked for. I wonder what my reward is going to be, though. That's the real question. What goodies do we obtain from doing this? If I get a lemonade, I might scream. Okay, just a warning. Don't be a lemonade. 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 Give me this. A rocky helmet? That's good. That's good, however. I will take a rocky helmet. That is absolutely fine. Alright. Who wants um, a nice hard hat? Montress? Montress. That's going on Montress once it's leveled up. Okay, that's decided. Uh, for now, though, let's go ahead and honestly explore the area to the right here. We could go and do Rock Tunnel. We could. But we haven't actually been down this way yet. So let's see what some of the trainers over here have, because they should have some randomizations. And that means it's time to see some horrible, horrible things. Like Dunno. I I take it back. That's at that that's so simple it works. I think I've said this about multiple Dust Skulls for this playthrough so far. But when Dust Skull is used for something, all it does is just slap a skull on his face. You can't really go wrong with it, I suppose, unless you put it on, like, a red cute Pokemon like Eevee, then I'd be a little worried. In fact, even if you made Eevee, if you had a ghost-type Eevee, it would still be pretty cute. So, you know what? I take it back. Dust Skull just works. You can't do it wrong as such, and that's weird. I just became a trainer? I think I can win. He just became a trainer. Okay. Okay. Need aura. What am I looking at? Is it like laying backwards? Alright, alright, alright. I'm seeing this is like a shirt, right? He's like sprawled out backwards in like a, a crab position with his head like lifted up. Probably to look at the TV. He looks like he's just laying on a chair here. Is anyone else seeing this? Is this just me? <laughs> am I. <laughs> What am I seeing? <laughs> I'm very confused. Either way, acrobatics should do a good amount. Oh my god, Dark Horse. Oh my god. It is happening. We have ourselves a power house. Is this an ordinary sand slash? It's sand true and sand slash! <laughs> I suppose it had to happen eventually, right? We had to see the fusion like this eventually. That's great. That's great. The Sand True and Sand Slash. What an amazing fusion. It looks so different and exhilarating. Wow. That's a Pokemon, alright. <laughs> I thought it was just an ordinary Sand Slash, but there was a little bit to it. There was a little bit to it, I suppose. I don't know if it would have been funny to see an actual Sand Slash or all that. I should be speaking to these people. What do you want to leave me alone? You want to rematch? No. My best one of a match. No, I want goodies. Why are the seven sages here? What are they doing here? Do they have good Pokemon? Gambler Hugo. That Pokemon scares me. It can learn Taunt and Counter. This Pokemon scares me. I do not appreciate this Pokemon. But not get out of here. Absolutely get out of here. I am happy to acrobatics through everything. Cat Clang. Ha. Ha Clang. Clang, I understand. No. Wait. What if it isn't just Clang? It's not Cling Clang, is it? Or is it? I don't know. We're gonna go into Montrose. Because I don't know what it is. 
<laughs> Kakuna? But then what's Lang? It is Kling Klang! And it is Kakuna! Okay! Alright! That's weird! That's really weird! What on earth am I looking at? That's really weird. I like the fact that it's taken the face to be just one of like... The... That's weird. That's so weird. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about this. I'm very surprised that Clint Clang is in the game. I did not expect that to be added. It gets bopped by a flame wheel though. Makes sense, four times super effective after all. That is a weird Pokemon to see. Pokemon is life and life is to gamble. Hey, you want to play a game? It'll cost you 2,000 to play, but it'll give you something good if you win. What do you say? I'll gamble. Do you know how to play back Blackjack? I'll hand you the cards. The total of your cards is to be as close as possible to 21. If you go over 21, I win. If the total of your cards is close to 21, then can I actually play this? It's the three of hearts. It's the four of diamonds. Continue? Yeah. Five of hearts. Continue? Yeah. Nine of spades. 17. He's at 20. He's at 20! He's at 20! So I have to, right? I haven't actually played Blackjack, to be honest. <laughs> Alright, just give me four. Nine of diamonds. Well... He got... He got 20. He got... He got a 20. I lost. Feels bad. <laughs> I may have won the Pokemon battle, but did I really win? If he won the, the rematch, did I really win? I don't know. Tanba though, look at those Ladybug legs. Is that what's underneath the Tangler all along? It's just a little Ladybug? No one knows. You can't see what's in there. It could just be a Ladybug. Am I revealing secret hidden Pokemon lore not meant for, for anyone to know? Maybe. Maybe I am. I go back to work once we'll just want to have another battle. No, I want cool things like the Blackjack trainer, to be honest. That was much more interesting. Is there a blue Pokemon we got right? <gasps> Beautiful. Beautiful. Can I take this off of your hands, good sir? I need that magic leaf. I need all of the magic art fusions. You don't understand. It's a, it's a side quest I have. Uh, it was the quest was given by myself, so it doesn't really count, but lit up. Liduck. I feel like I'm in a French lesson. Liduck. Okay. <laughs> that's a strange looking Pokemon. It's just a really fat lady and it can't get off the ground. <laughs> that's really sad. It's just a really fat lady. Alapod. I don't know what this is either. Oh, Alakazam. That makes sense. Um, that's scary. That needs to go away. That's a very scary Pokemon but of a Metapod right there. Okay. <laughs> Maybe I should be a little bit more thankful about that. That was electric, was it? What is this blue Pokemon? Okay, okay. Can this be something good? Oh! Oh! Um... That's something. Half odd. Well, if we want a buffery, maybe you found $2,000. That's... That's convenient. <laughs> um... Oh, you best believe we're catching a Sceptile Cappy. You would best believe we're catching a Sceptile Fusion. How do I weaken it? Nightshade? Do I still have Nightshade? Or did I replace it with Sucker Punch? I don't remember if I replaced it or kept Nightshade. Oh, I swapped out for Hyper Voice a while ago, didn't I? Alright, we're gonna put you to sleep then, I guess. That's all I can do. That sucks. Uh, bad time to not have Nightshade or Sonic Boom or any move like that. I need to consider something. Do we need to take Pokemon with us for catching Pokemon? Actually, no. No, we don't. We don't need to take it with us as such. Is this worth a candy ball? I could firecracker it and we can see how much it does. We could... Why is that in the Pokeballs? What? <laughs> what? We're gonna throw a Pokeball first and see how, how likely it is to catch. Um, why can I throw a Firecracker at this? I can't explain to you how much I want to use the Firecracker. I actually can't. Do we do it? If it gets out of sleep, I'll do it. Alright, okay. Looks like it's not that day. Sceptile, though, is a very, very good Pokemon to fuse. 
the wild forest Pokemon. You know, that makes sense. I can believe this being real. In the jungle, its power is at without equal. I believe it. Look at it. One meter tall, 28 kilograms. Look at that ferocious face. Look at that tail. You think anyone could fight that caterpillar? Nah. It releases a terribly strong odor from its antennae. Is that what takes out the other Pokemon? It just it stinks so bad that everything else just faints around it. I mean, if it works, is it really something to complain about? Honkarp again. Tempting. I've definitely decided that when we want to use the Magikarp fusions, it's probably going to be around level 40. It's going to, probably going to be like the Koga Sabrina time. That's when we're going to have the Magikarp fusions all come out and have a great time. It's going to be amazing. I'm excited for it and it's not even close yet. <laughs> uh, Chinbat. Goodbye. Goodbye. It's beautiful. Don't get me wrong. Zoom out without wings. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. But no. No. Oma C. Right. Well, this is definitely a water type. Do we have a grass type move on our entire team? I don't think we do. Meaning, S Club, you will do. We could, when we have the Septile Fusion, though, we could get a grass type move. Just something with Leaf Blade, and that'd be great. So am I right in thinking this is just a pure war type? I assume so. Okay. Alright, sounds good. Can I play Blackjack with this dude as well? You wanna play a game? Of course, 2000 to play. Listen. Listen. First time, it went badly. But you know, we'll give it one more try. Jack of Diamonds total 11. Okay. Queen of Hearts total 12. Continue, yes. 7 of spades, total 18, he gets 2. Let's not. He gets 18 as well. We stay. His total is 18, his total is 18. It's a tie. We're both getting our money back. I'm not, I'm not happy unless I win, okay? <laughs> this is how it starts. <laughs> this is how it starts. Six of us. Okay, that's fine. He gets seven. Okay. Total seven. Okay. Nine of us. Total sixteen. He gets twenty-three. That's what I thought. Give me, give me. What do I win? You won. All right. Here's the prize. A rare candy. I, I'll take it. I'll take it. That's fine. That's fine. You know, I would say that was worth my time. I really would. All right. What do we have up here? Where did that huge Pokemon on Route 12 come from? Looking for a nocturnal Pokemon called Venonat. Would you like one for my Marie? No, I don't want either of those Pokemon. We can catch a Venomoth. I think our first Pokemon we caught were essentially a Venomoth fusion and a Marie fusion, so no. Oh, hello. I'm trying to get to Fusion City, but this huge Pokemon's been blocking the way for days. I tried everything, but it won't budge at all. You're going to Lavender Town? I'm afraid you'll have to go all the way through Rock Tunnel, then. There's no way around it. Oh. Okay, alright, looks like it's time for us to teleport up to Cerulean, as we are done here. It's time for us to start heading towards the Rock Tunnel. As you can tell, I don't like Rock Tunnel. <laughs> it's not a, not a hidden fact. Rock Tunnel sucks. Hopefully it's better in this game. We'll see. We'll see. For now, we'll get there, though. You have Pokemon with you? You're mine. Oh, that's direct. Okay. Magna Raid. Beauty. Beauty. True beauty right here. Look at that. That's a great Pokemon. Um, Acrobatics probably isn't going to do too much, but we'll see. Oh! Oh, okay. Alright. There is more Pokemon than Typings. Something that I forget sometimes. Sandum. Yeah, it's not going to survive. It, it might survive. It might. But it's Survivor Kick Impact, though. Can I get a Veldum? Oh, it's about Psychic type. Well. <laughs> okay then. And then against Doma, we'll go into this, because I don't know what Doma is. Doma... What is Doma? Oh, Dodo and Grima. Oh. Part of me was just about to click self-destruct to the strongest. That's a problem. I was thinking of it like, uh, you know, a good old Giga Impact. Not, hey, I might faint. So that was a mistake. Uh, we are tanking it that well. If we had the Rocky Helmet on right now, we would be in a great situation. Sadly, we don't. And our other moves 
sucked against this Pokemon. Bug Bite looks like it actually did a tiny bit more damage. It's not a lot more, but it is a tiny bit more than that punch. So we'll stick with Bug Bite for the time being. It'll it'll do the job. Stop using Minimize, please. <laughs> please, no more Minimize. Is Disable? No more. But we can finish it with a Bug Bite, so we're doing it. I'm gonna bite the no more. Okay, it needs to happen. It's not something I control. We just need to bite it. In fact, uh, I guess it's time to put the Rocky Howl on there. And then we can swap Montrose into the front. And we'll see how well it does in battle. I think it should be okay. Probably. You know, it's got, it's got decent moves for level 20, I suppose. <gasps> TM. 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 Wahaha, great, I was bored. Why don't you pick up that TM and see what it is if you're bored? Leddy Edge. Look at that fist! I'm terrified! Look at how clean that sword looks! Oh my god, it's beautiful! Too bad it's gonna get absolutely bopped! Oh, never mind, okay, it survived. I mean, well, that is a huge fist! It just swings around that giant fist on his back, or on the end of its, its tassel, and then just smack something. That's a high power Pokemon right there. I'm scared. I'm very scared. Got to send in Sneemite. Sneasel. Oh, a Magmite. That's fine. Um, it might have actually been better to Mark Punch. So this might be a Dark Steel type, right? Okay, looks like Mark Punch is the right way to go about this. Fall. Unfortunate. It is Dark Electric, but okay. I think. Sometimes it's so hard to get what Pokemon's primary types and secondary types are the right way around. It's just not something you ever need in the base game. So when you actually, like, try and think about it, it's weird. Tier 43 Flame Charge. Not the... Oh. Not the most amazing thing. We just picked up a Bellsprout statue? Ah... Uh... A small golden statue of Bellsprout. It looks valuable. You think I'm going to sell that? This is the most precious thing I own. I can't sell that. That's incredibly important to me. Honestly, what would I do without it? I don't know what I would do without it. Come on, dude. I want to see what that item is. I want to see if it's a Bellsprout statue. You know? I need as many as possible. Sun Drill. It works. If nothing else, it works. I can't complain about that. That is a good fusion. I, part of me hates the fact that all of these Sun Confusions we've seen have been kind of good, but, you know, Wooper, is this like a Wooper that can't say its name properly? Is this just a baby Wooper? This sounds adorable. A little Wooper trying to say his name for the first time and just comes out as Wooba, Wooba, please, I need this. I actually need this. Too bad it's a War Flying type. Um, that's beautiful. That was a beautiful Pokemon. I love that. I want, I want more Wooba. <laughs> Rapabat, okay. Um, your eye is on fire. Is that not uncomfortable? You should probably get that checked. Uh, <laughs> I, I, uh, I don't like this. It's got, it's like shooting out as a rocket. It's got like a unicorn horn because of Rapidash. This is a, this has a lot of things going on. It's got wings, it's got a unicorn horn, it's got fire coming out of its butt, it's got fire coming out of its eyes, it looks like it's still got feet. What is this Pokemon trying to do? What is going on? Rapbat, are you okay? Do you need help? I think it needs help. Beat me fair. And we get ourselves a ring target. A uh, very specific item to pick up. Probably not going to be used. Where do we want to go? We'll just battle as many people as possible, that's fine. I'm taking Rock Tunnel to go to Lavender Town. There's an item up there. I see it. I see it. Wobat. No. 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 Oh no. Oh no. We get a burn, which is good. Wing attack. It's weird seeing a Wobbuffet attack me. That's weird. 
but this works out in my favor. Just go for wing attack again, please. Confuse Ray. Okay. Okay. Alright, that's fine. Uh, it fades to burn this turn anyway, so let's just do something casual and swap out. I was hoping it would have the other ability. Okay, alright, fine. We finished you with a mark punch. Knew it was gonna happen. You just, sometimes you just know it's gonna happen. At least he takes himself out to Rocky Helmet. Would have taken himself out to the burn anyway, so it's not a huge deal. Uh, we can swap out now, at least. We Pinky. <laughs> that sounds weird. <laughs> we Pinky. <laughs> um. Uh. Beautiful. Beautiful. Those are some lips. Those are some jinx lips right there. Okay. We hit level 24 on Dunkor, the most amazing Pokemon in the world. And we can go and see what that item is. So we do that side. And free Landsat berries, whatever they do. Um, what's this? A nest ball. Eh. I'm curious as to what this dude's doing over here, to be honest. I get up every day to raise my Pokemon from cocoons. They, they cocoon every day. Your Pokemon evolve and devolve every day. He has an ordinary Pidgeotto. First, it was the Sand Slash, which was a Sand Shrew and Sand Slash Fusion. This is just a genuine Pidgeotto. Does that mean this is a key trainer somehow? Probably not. It's probably just a really, really rare chance of finding a Fusion that's fused to itself. But if he's a key trainer, it's possible. Modris is level 23, what's that? Natural Gift. Field. No. Squirtle. <laughs> Such a child. <laughs> the word squirt pops up. <laughs> I start laughing. Why? <laughs> it's beautiful. That's beautiful. That's so beautiful. I take it back. I had every reason to laugh. Look at this beautiful creature. Thunderbolt is neutral. This is part electric. That was... Oh, I needed to see that in my day. I really needed to see that like, in my day. That was amazing. Please tell me you can trade me a squad hole. I just heal my Pokemon. Oh, okay. Oh, we'll have a very brief look and see what we can catch here. Hapco. Okay, we're going to see terrifying things. I'm scared. Honestly, I assume every Pokemon that we can find here we'll find in Rock Tunnel anyway, because it's more level-based. So this is fine. Who's that walking with those good-looking Pokemon? Uh... Uh, I don't know, who is it? Magmander? This, this is the true essence of a flying type. You've seen Charmander, that, that boring Pokemon that honestly can just get out. Why not even run rather than hide? You've seen a boring Charmander. This is Magmander. This is the, the true form of Charmander. This is a Charmander, but better. You know, this is beautiful. Look at that concerned face that looks just scared of the world. That's how you know it's powerful. That's how you know it's hiding its true power. It's only trying to look like it's intimidated. In reality, it could destroy you. And Walker... I'm just gonna stay in. I don't know what War stands for. Oh, War Tall. That makes sense. That makes a lot of sense. Well, we can go for Side Beam and it's still neutral. It's Far Sunken, so... Actually, it survived. Okay. Sunken's better if it's the face. The body doesn't work quite as well. It's the face that works well. Sunsea. For example, <laughs> when when it's like this. Uh, that's convenient timing. There's been a lot of sun confusions. I assume because it's early and sun has the lowest base stat total, so therefore it's randomized the highest. That actually makes a lot of sense. Yeah, that, that does make a lot of sense. It can be fused with a lot of things because the things that would originally be here would suck. Yeah, yeah, okay, I believe that. That's beautiful. Um, I've never seen a Brape's forehead look so enticing in my life. That's beautiful. Oh, <laughs> uh, okay. Alright, can I just, like, zoom on? Okay. Unfortunately, I can't just zoom on. We're gonna get to the time, at least. Why can is a crab top? It's interesting. It's it's interesting. Um, we'll go for a mark punch, see how much it does. Don't hit me with ground type move. Oh! Yeah, see, I clicked my move thinking, hey, that's part rock, and then I thought about it. Then I thought things through. 
Um, that's my own fault. That, uh, that didn't need to happen, but I'm done. Oh, Leans neutral though, so that should take it out nice. Easy, crap top, beautiful Pokemon. I'm liking the fact we're seeing a different Pokemon. Every single fusion that comes out is different now. Every single fusion. <laughs> I think we've got through the point where everything that came out was somewhat similar. We're past all of the Nidorans and Pidgeys and all that stuff. Um, now we're seeing some true randomizations. Like Pito. Beautiful. Beautiful. Why am I ice beaming it? I mean, it's still a high base kind of move, I suppose. Nasty plot Pito? I don't know. I don't know if that's the smartest. If you transform and lose all your stat buffs, that's not the smartest thing to do at all. Gave decent XP considering though. Um, we're gonna not take Future Sight. It's a very good move. But we have teleport. Find an XXX accuracy. Can I get past you? <laughs> I just I just wanna get to Rock Tunnel. Come on, my dude. Snub rack. Terrifying, I hate it. For some reason this actually triggers my arachnophobia. I'm not sure why, it shouldn't. It shouldn't trigger my arachnophobia. It looks stupid. And yet, here we are. With it causing that slight shiver down my spine. <laughs> that is just my really bad posture. We're not sure which, <laughs> you know? <laughs> uh, <laughs> it could be either. Mime the oh my god. Oh my god. That is beautiful. I've never seen something look so much like a clown. Beauty. Absolute beauty. My moon, thank you. Thank you for existing. This is what I needed to see. Look at those feet. Just the stupidest looking Pokemon, aren't you? It's so great. Honestly, the top half doesn't look that bad. If you just took, like, the, the top part of Gloom, the part of, like, the flower, that actually looks really cool. That looks like a psychic type. Can I... Can I run straight into it? <laughs> Can I straight into it? Alright. We've full cleared the gauntlet. This is fine. Oh, I didn't speak to many people. I mean, they all want rematches, don't they? We already know what they want. They all want rematches. I'll go and, and click on them all off screen, and we'll see if they say anything different. I'm assuming they all want rematches, though. Uh, Hoopdorf, that is such a good name. If I ever get a chance to rename myself, someone remind me to, to call myself Hoopdorf. I need that. You know? That's a great name. And I look at that Pokemon Fusion, and it just looked like a loaf of bread to me. Hoopdorf just looked like a loaf of bread. Beautiful. I wanted to have this, a Thunderstone. Well, I think we've got the only important thing from that route, at least. Um... Pokemon Center. I feel very happy here. What? There's an old couple trapped behind a cut tree. Ah, we'll leave them there for, for another couple of days until we get to the next episode. They'll be fine. <laughs> they don't need food or water or anything. <laughs> if you guys have enjoyed this episode, leave a like down below, hit that subscribe button, and without further ado, bye!